All right, guys, so we've been talking about opinion writing and using the model of an Oreo. I even brought an actual Oreo for you to look at. As you can see, it has chocolate, and then it has some cream, and then it's chocolate at the bottom. The chocolate cookie parts are gonna represent our opinion. So we're gonna put our opinion, and then we're gonna talk about why we think what we think, and then we're gonna stop it with our opinion again. So it's gonna go opinion, reasons, opinion. Chocolate, cream, chocolate. Let's get started. Um, when you guys do your writing, you're going to write about why your mom is so amazing, but I don't want you to copy what I'm doing, so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to write about my husband, and you guys are going to write about your mom. So for my opinion, my first part, I'm going to put my husband is awesome. So I'm going to start with a capital. My husband is awesome. Now, you can talk about what your mom, is your mom great? Is your mom the best mom in the whole world? Is your mom the best mom in the whole wide universe? Whatever you want to do for your opinion, but this is your opinion part. And you're not going to write it like a cookie like I did it. I just want you to write it on a regular piece of paper or type it or however. Your teacher has asked you to do it, but I'm going to do it just as an Oreo just to make it a little bit more fun for you to look at. My first reason why he is so awesome is that he plans the best vacations for me and our kids. So I'm going to talk about, start with capital, he, make sure you leave your space, plans the best, notice my spaces in between my words, he plans the best vacations For, plans like it for me and our kids because he takes us places all the time. He plans them. Now, right now, you should be writing a sentence about your mom. So, what's one reason why your mom is amazing? Why is she so great? Why is she the mom? Or why is she the best mom in the whole world? But you need to come up with a reason. One reason right now why she's so great. My second reason why my husband's so awesome. If anything ever breaks in our house, he can always fix it. So he's really good at fixing things. So I'm gonna say, mm, I'm not gonna start with he again. I'm gonna say, if anything breaks in our house, he can fix it. Now think about something else that your mom does or shows you or makes or whatever she does that makes her amazing, makes her great, makes her the best mom in the whole wide world because you got good reasons why she's so great. I'm going to give you a third reason why my husband is amazing. Um, sometimes you get sick. Maybe you get, I get sick. When I get sick, I don't feel so great. You know what he does? He makes me chicken noodle soup. So I'm going to do a sentence like, hmm, when, I, when I'm sick, since I'm using the word I, I have to upper, use an uppercase letter. When I'm sick, he makes me. I could just write soup here, but I want to make my sentence a little bit longer. So I'm going to tell you what kind of soup. He makes me chicken noodle soup. Okay, so I've given you, I started with my opinion. I gave you three reasons why my husband's amazing. Now I have to end it with the same opinion. I can't change my opinion. I still think my husband is awesome, but I don't want to say the exact same words for my opinion, so I'm going to change up a little bit. I'm going to say, he really is the best husband in the world. So that's my opinion again. He really is the best best husband I could put an exclamation mark to show that I'm really excited I ran out of room there I probably should have extended my sentence and say he really is the best husband in the world if I wanted to add my sentence to make add words to make it a little bit longer but you can see how this is done we have our opinion 
We tell why, and then we state our opinion again. We tell it again. So that's why I think of it as an Oreo. So remember, you're writing about your mom. You might say, my mom is awesome. My mom is great. My mom is the most amazing mother in the whole wide world. Whatever you want to say for your opinion, that's what you're going to do. Remember, you do not need to do it like an Oreo, like draw it like this. If you want to, I guess you can, but it's hard to write in this area. I think it'll be easier for you just to get a piece of paper and write it as sentences going straight down. Until later, guys. Have a great time. Miss you.